Okay, so it's a beautiful day today, um, and I'm going to have a look in this colony. And because it's so nice and the bees are building up, been building up so well, I'm thinking there might be some queen cells in here, and I might have to do some swarm control. Um, but it's okay. I've got a plan for if I'd find that, and I've got my spare equipment here, so I'm just I'm ready to go. So. Just see what we'll see what happens. Um, see, go. Take the crown board off. And then we'll take the super off. Box once we get the screw screwed off. Go. Right. Let's have a look. It's up in our hive. Not much going on on that frame. Just put that aside a minute. Let's see. Not here now. Oh, there's some food stores there on the outside of the box. That's, that's what we might expect there before we get into the brood nest. This next frame. Oh, some bees on the next frame. Some brood. Yeah, I can see some sealed brood and some open brood on this frame. Queen's laying there. That's good. Oh no, look. Oh dear. Look at this. It's a queen cell. <gasps> oh dear, we'll have to do something about that. Luckily, I've got a plan. Let's carry on. So, all the instructions now. First, find the queen. Yeah. Oh, how am I going to find the queen? Look at all, the, look at all these bees. How am I going to find the queen? Stay calm. Stay calm. Take it easy. No need to use a smoker. It's a nice day. The queen will be going about her own business. Let's see what's on this one. Oh! Another queen cell. Another queen cell in here. <gasps> they really want to swarm. Okay. Let's find this queen. Where she be? There's a nice, there's a nice frame. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Yes! I've spotted the queen. That's great. Now, I can proceed with my plan now. My plan is to make a nuke. And I'm going to take this queen and I'm going to put her in my nuke box. I'm going to take care of her and cage her so she doesn't move there. Uh, and now I'm going to go across to my nuke, which I've got all prepared. It's got six frames of foundation. If I had drawn comb, I would have used them, but I haven't. So uh, I'm going to make a space in there. I'm going to put my queen in there. And there she goes. She's in that new box now. That entrance is closed, so she's in there with all the bees. And now I need to get a couple more frames for her. Yeah. What would be good is a nice frame of sealed brood. Sealed brood like that. So the young bees will hatch out of that and they'll give her some more bees in there. Now some food. Now I saw some food earlier on, didn't I? At the start. So let's shove all these things up. Here's my food. Here's my food stores. So I'll put that in with the queen. She'll need some food to keep her going. There we go. That was quite easy. Now, hmm. I've got to double check here. That I haven't put any queen cells in in this new box, otherwise we'll still be trouble. New queen cell. So let's have a let's double check these frames. There's a little queen cup there, but there's nothing in that. Queen's frames. Nope, no queen cells on there. Around the 
heater here already, so um, I'll get my syrup and give them the next and then back over here. What's happening over here? So, what am I going to do about these queen cells? Oh no, wait a minute. Oh dear. I've forgotten something. There's some sticky stuff in that here. I think the queen's going to need more bees. So we need young bees. Better not forget to do that. So, got a little trick. How do I know that I'm going to have young bees? And young bees, remember, they're going to be able to um, care for the brood the queen's laying in there. So I'll take a frame here. And it's got fine bees and young bees on it. It's got a mixture of bees on here. If I take this and I just shake it. The older bees fly away because they can fly, but the younger bees are hanging on there. They're hanging on harder. So I just gave it a gentle flip there. Now, if I move over here and give it a harder shake, then these young bees are going to go in with the queen. Like that. Push. I've shook them off. Put them in there. And, do you know, this is, a, this is quite a strong colony. So I think I'm going to get another frame with all the bees. I'm going to shake off the all the bees. Just give it a shake. Oh, all the bees are flying away. The younger bees are still hanging on. I'll take them over here and I'm going to shake them harder. Oh. Oh. The bees are in there. Put these frames back. Set up in a new home there. With some food. She's got plenty of young bees and she's got room to lay and space to expand. So back we go. Yeah. Sort this. this lot out there. So got to check these in here. I'm gonna put these spare frames that I took out a new box. Okay. okay. This one's got queen cell on it, so it's not it's not sealed. Otherwise, they would have swarmed already. So I can just mark that because I want to choose one. I want to choose one queen cell. I want to get rid of the other ones. There's no queen cells on here. Nice open one. In fact, I like looking at this one. So I think what we'll do, we'll do is I'm going to just take this. No, I'm not, because it's not going to come off. I'm going to keep that one. Um, I'm going to take this one away. I'm going to knock this one down. So I haven't got a queen cell on there anymore. Oh, here's another one. I'm going to get rid of that one as well. I just want to leave one queen cell. This one's reluctant to come off. There it is. Taking it off. And that. Good stores. Good stores. That's good. Finish off that spare foundation on the outside. So, it's back. And I'm going to mark a little pin. I'm going to mark that queen cell that I left, that one queen cell. Pin in there so I remember where it was. Finish the back on. Slip this back on. There we go. Now I've done my swarm control. I've split my colony as well. So um, I'm going to come back in seven days' time. No, I'm not. Before I do that, 
I'm going to move this hive away from here. And I haven't got much room in my apiary. I'm going to take it and I'm going to move it. Remember our rule of thumb, at least three feet away, more than three feet. Because I don't, I want the bees from here. No, I don't mind. Anyway, I'm going to take it. in that nuke as well and that would stop the bees coming out immediately. I'm going to lose some of them, some of them are going to fly from there and come back in here but I don't, I don't mind too much because I've put plenty of young bees in there. Some of them won't be able to fly and some of them won't want to fly because they've got brood to look after. Okay so I'll see you back here in seven days time. Alright seven days since we split this colony. We took the queen out and put her in the nuke box over there and now we've got to go back and do something else. Um, seven days later. This is the frame I've got a pin on it here. Yep. This is the frame that I marked that I left the queen cell on. And oh yeah, now it's been it's been sealed, this queen cell. So we're gonna get a virgin queen out of that one. So it looks fine. That. But now I've got to go through and see if there's any more queen cells. These bees will have made emergency cells because they want a bit of insurance rather than that just that one. So They'll have made new queen cells um, from young larvae or eggs and they can do that. Um, so what I might find is more open queen cells. Now, I don't want those, I just want that one queen cell. So I'm going to take these away again. Take that away. And I'm going to go through thoroughly this box. Check for more open queen cells, here's another one. Like that. We haven't got any more queen cells. Now, now these bees can't make any more queen cells because the larvae that are still in there are too old. So they can't make any more, so there's just that one we've marked. It's going to hatch out a virgin. She's going to fly off and get made and start laying. And all that's going to take a while. And I'm not going to do anything at all in this hive for at least a month, maybe six weeks, till we see if we've got a laying virgin queen in here. If I go in this hive in the meantime, the virgin might be out flying and I'm messing about. She won't come back in or she, she'll get lost. I'm just going to leave this to itself. There's nothing else I can really do with it. And what I can do now is go and have a look at my queen in here. I'll just double check how she's getting on. Yeah, she's, she's laying quite a bit. Fine, it's not that many bees in, a lot of them have flown over there. Are still in here? 